This is Narrowboat Freya. She is a 52 foot traditional style narrowboat built in 1998 by R&D Fabrications and fitted out by Heron Boat Shares Limited. Okay then, starting off at the front of the boat, we have the gas locker. There we go, two 13 kilogram gas bottles inside. And then we come onto the nice big front deck. We've got a bit of a wooden floor effect on it. There is, obviously it isn't wooden, there is metal underneath. And then you've got your tunnel light. And then you've got a bar there for a TV aerial if needed. So the doors on the front of this boat um, are metal. There is no windows, as you can see. So it is a fully metal enclosed front. There you go. Um, water tank is underneath the front deck and the water tank is approximately 900 litres. So carrying on down the boat, the chimney, and then you've got your mushroom vents, they've been painted black, and then you've got your gold anodized um, hopper windows and there's porthole windows to the rear. As you go down, you've got the cradle on the roof for the plank. Um, this boat hasn't got a boat hook or a boat pole with it. So as we carry on down, Got the porthole windows and then you come to the stern of the boat so as i said the stern is a traditional style there we go so your fuel tank is access is just there fuel tank size is approximately 135 liters um, the vent is just on top of the bollard and then you've got access to the fuel pipes if needed and underneath this de deck, there is also um, a hatch so you can get access to the weed hatch as well. So looking at the engine, it is a Lister Petter LP WS4. She is a three cylinder engine, as you can see. And she has a PRM gearbox on her as well. So batteries wise, the batteries are hidden so I can't show them you. It's got one starter battery and three domestic batteries on it. Okay, right, let's go take a look inside the boat and um, I'll show you the rest. Okay then, stepping in the front of Freya, we're met by the saloon area, as you can see. So starting off right at the front, we have the solid fuel stove there we go with the flue and then we've got the steps here as well which do offer storage as well a nice gray sofa and then you come down towards the kitchen area and you've got another cupboard just here it is a freestanding cupboard so it can be removed if you want and it's got some storage in there as well. So, we've got a few 240 plugs knocking about as well. So, into the kitchen area, loads of cupboard space. So, there we go, pull out drawer, got glasses in at the minute. Under the sink, plenty of cleaning products. And a few drawers as well does have some items in it so the boat is ready to go and as you can see if I pushed it hard enough they are soft closing drawers as well so you've got your Fetford for hot burner and then as we carry on down you've got a cupboard that also comes out as well okay next you've got your candy oven there we go and then below that another drawer as well if we look on the other side got a nice side hatch in the kitchen and then you've got the samsung washing machine and then again more drawers and then you've got the Russell Hobbs fridge freezer which is 
runs off mains power. So carry on down the boat. We come to the bathroom area. So it's effective cassette. Get the cassette out of there. There you go. A nice bowl and another cupboard for storage. And then you have a nice big quadrant shower as well. There we go. And then some shelving just there if needed. And then we come to the rear of the boat. So you've got a standard fixed double with storage underneath, storage above the bed, and then you've got that storage as well. I can't reach over the other side, I won't try climbing over the bed. And then, nice big cupboard there as well. And then we come to the electrics box. Cupboard, I should say, not box. Let me open them both up for us. So let's start off in here. So you've got the RCDs and MCBs for the mains electric just there. Got a sterling galvanic isolator and a sterling 1800 watt inverter. Also, we have a sterling battery charger. And then we have the changeover switch from shoreline to inverter as well. So then as we go into here, Battery isolation points, obviously power's off at the minute. We've got the AC power there, so if you plug into the mains, it gives you the information that you need, and you can also trip it or reset it there as well. And then you've got your 12 volt distribution board as well. To turn that off. There we go. Okay, you've got your control panel as well here on the boat. I can't quite make out the engine hours and I'm not sure if they work either, so I won't bother with that. Right then, let's go take a walk to the front of the boat and I'll give you the last few details. Okay then, so the last few details about Narrowboat Freya. So the boat was last surveyed in 2015. We do have a copy of the survey you can have a look at. Um, boat safety, the new one comes with a sale. We own the boat, so we'll be putting a new one on as part of the deal. And the hull was last blacked and the anodes were last checked in 2020. For more information about Freya, give us a call on 01270 528251 or emails at sales at venetianmarina.co.uk. Don't forget, viewings are by appointment only, so you do need to contact us and get booked in if you'd like to come and see the boat. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos like this. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.